Uh, I'm Michael Sifu Huang. I'm the co-founder of M Woods Museum in Beijing. Uh, M Woods is a, a non-profit public museum. We opened in 2014, a year and a half ago, um, and we have a private collection. We're thriving to bring the most international and most experimental art into China and to sh to showcase to the, Gen uh, the Chinese public. And we want to bring more younger generation into museums and make them have developed the hobby of going to see art on the weekends, going to see art, be surrounded by art. That's our goal. I think I explain in my goals because I grew up in London and I went to the Tate every weekend and it's just something that really, really uh, helped me in getting interested in art and to be, you know, getting into the profession of the art, the art world. Um, I think this is something China is lacking and we need to have institutions, a museum system that where people can go see different exhibitions on the weekend and see art in public. An exhibition I remember really, really well is um, I went to Taste and Ives. It's like a location they have in, Corn um, in Cornwall. It's like a kind of seaside city in England. And they have a Tate Museum there. And it was like Alex Katz show on his beach series which is just like really, really magnificent and it worked really well with the space and the light and the landscape behind, you know, it's like the seaside and it just really, really like blow me away. Well, obviously help with the programming, help with the development and the big visions and, you know, it's like my baby, so I do everything for it. We are, we go around to see a lot of art internationally and of course, we meet about, talk about the artists we like, and we, we're, we are interested in artists, we do research, and we go to see if there's a good work, of course, we'll want to acquire it. Yeah. It's when I was in uh, high school, it's a lithograph by Helen Frankenthaler. I feel art history is very important in anything, even we deal a lot with contemporary art, I feel um, like art history is important in looking at contemporary art, because there's all you can see influence from the back and you can see how it's developed from the art from the past. And it's really helpful in deciding who we want to show and what art we want to collect. We have a variety of shows from, we do shows for solo, like we do solo shows for artists and we also, um, you know, um, show collections. Um, for me personally, I'm very interested in post-internet art and I'm planning an exhibition in the next coming years about post-internet and art that deal with internet and technology. And uh, I want them to come to China. I want them to work with things. You know, China is a really interesting uh, country with a lot of things, uh, very, like internet company that has a great Chinese element. And there's a lot of materials and you can use in China. So I want to see uh, post-internet art really in a China's, Chinese context. I think it's just a term that's given to art. For me, it's like a term given to art that's dealing with um, technology and internet and like industrial materials that's not available before. But um, for us, like our generation, I think it's just something we grew up with. And um, yeah, I don't think that's a problem in the past, but I think nowadays you can't avoid to be global because like the internet, the globalization is so out there. And if you, every artist, most, almost every artist has a website. Like, of course, everyone can see your work from all over the world. No, I don't think you have to be global. I mean, if you just show Chinese artists, it's still you're showing contemporary art. But I just, the context we're in, where we don't really judge art by its country, and we just judge art by um, if it's good or not. And, so we just show art from all over the world. It, it's not, we choose to show international art. It just, so we show art we believe that's great. Well, I'm on the International Leadership uh, Council on the New Museum. It's a very, very good council they do that's um, catered towards the international collectors and everyone on the committee is a very, very major. And I think on your website, you interview a few of them already. Uh, like Patricia Sondredo, Rebdingo, and um, it's all major collectors nationally. 
is, but I just, I, I really like what New Museum is doing and uh, there are other curators like Massimiliano and uh, Lauren Cornell, uh, they're all amazing curators and Lisa Phillips is such a great leader as well. Um, and I think we look up to them in terms of, because we both like to do exhibition that's not predictable and um, a lot of sometimes group shows that's very dynamic and brings a lot of different sorts of art together in one context. Uh, so we really look up to them and I really appreciate them like inviting me to this console and also I think now we're in the talks of you know getting more involved with the new museum. Uh, so I think it's yeah and I, I love I just I learn from them and they really appreciate what I'm doing and they like you know they new museum is have a huge younger audience and they they just told me they love my involvement because I'm they don't like they love to have people in the young generation to be in, uh, a part of the leadership so it's really great well the next exhibition is going to be Andy Warhol and we are recreating the Andy Warhol factory so it'll be a really kind of um, interactive and immersive experience for the Chinese Chinese audience it's something you cannot see online it's something you have to go experience and in the and we have exhibition lined up until 2018 and and it's all in the planning yes I'll be running the museum keep running the museum I want to be based in New York more so um, we'll see uh, we're hiring a, we have a big team we have a um, a team of people now in Beijing and it's kind of like I don't have to be there day to day and I enjoy traveling and you know in our world you travel a lot so you don't have to be at Beijing the whole time so I think it's not a problem for me.